Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought. No one even showed up to stop us. I don't like it. Something smells about all this. Roland knew we were gonna show up, so where's all the resistance? It all really stinks of- A trap? Right you are, bottom feeder. See, us civilized folk have rules. As much as I dislike your little modeled crew, it wouldn't be gentlemanlike to have you disposed of without a good reason. But all y'all have just stepped onto my private property without permission. And where I come from, that's a crime called trespassing. I presume you know what we do to trespassers at Shellfish Corp. Inkerton, kill the city folk. Gladly. <laughs> and as for you... I'll send you down the drain myself, you little flatworm! Let's give him a show! You should have known your banners, kill! I'll send you down the drain myself, you little flatworm! It's just business, kid! There's Melvin! Remarkable work, Vagabond. The barge is ours. All that remains is to... What the shell was that? Stupid, stupid, stupid little bottom feeders. Don't let any of these trespassers leave, boys. Oh, so... Y'all just don't know when to quit, do you? You could have all stayed in your cozy little homes in the reef, watched a shellfish corp dug up this treasure, and waited for that newfound wealth to benefit everyone in town. But y'all just had to get greedy. You decided you deserve this treasure more than the fine people of New Carcinia. And I would be remiss as a local business leader if I didn't punish y'all for this little indiscretion. I dare say that not a single one of y'all- uh, Shut up! I, I, I've been working my butt off trying to get my old life back! I'm pretty sure I've been working harder than anyone else! And now all of a sudden, I'm the jerk for wanting the treasure I earned? And you... Don't have to do anything at all! Y you just sit around and... and stuff just happens for you! It's not fair! It's all a bunch of bullshit! 
I'm sick of it! I'm gonna get that! Creel, wait! Treasure! Yeah. Hold on to something, y'all! cold. Anyone? Can you hear me? Nemma? Chitin? Conch? Blue guy? Uh, I think this is my fault. What word comes to mind? When you think of the Earth. Uh, hello? Is someone there? Would you say the Earth is beautiful? No. It's mean, and it's rude, and it's scary. And everything nice in it just gets messed up eventually anyway. It's over. It's all over. But like, for real this time. Uh, there you are! Do you know what happened to the others? Oh, now you care about the others, is that right? They can get boiled for all I care, and as a matter of fact, so can you! Take a look, pal! Here's the treasure you had us throw our lives away for! <sighs> What's that? It's nothing! Nothing usable at all! No plastic, no glass, not even a single nugget of foam. Just this pile of damp paper. It's totally worthless! It was really all for nothing? So, so what do we do now? You want my advice? Go find whatever the apex predator is down here and jump in their goddamn mouth! Then you'll finally be valuable to someone! If the world is ugly, then you need to fight. Fight to rip this ugly world apart. I don't want to. I'm tired of fighting. I never wanted to be any good at it. I'm never getting my show back. So what's the point? Thank you. 
If you don't fight, you will die like prey, along with the rest of this world. Maybe I don't care. Every step of the way, you've seen the fracturing of this world. Water is turning to acid around you. Lucid minds coming apart at the seams. And deep down, you understand what it means. That this world is reaching the spiral center. That apocalypse is nigh. But do you comprehend apocalypse, little crab? Certainly not. If you had truly lost hope. If you understood that this world must end. If you could hear the silence that comes afterward. All that would remain in your mind is an endless scream. You think you've hit rock bottom, little crab? There is so much lower you can go.
any of us once hoped as you do, I know how you think. You believe if you can hold on to just one thing, one person, one item, one idea, that at the end of the world, you alone might retain something to live for. But that is not how Apocalypse works. You will climb and climb, holding on to your own belongings, barely outpacing death's rising tide, believing without reason that it will ebb before it drowns you. Until one day, it will drown someone you care for. But instead of waking up, you will find a way to justify even this. They should have known better you will say. They would have survived had they climbed higher and faster, like me. You will repeat this lie to yourself over and over, focusing on keeping your footing as more and more of your world is taken from you. Until one day, you will slip, and those just above you will in turn Avert their eyes as you sink.